This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video for vet students and pet owners sponsored by Topayo Vets. Today, this video will educate pet owners whose dogs suffer from long-standing infections of the dog ears. April 16, 2014, I'm producing a video to explain to owners the benefits of lateral ear canal resection in dogs. Normally, this surgery is done when the dog is having a long-standing in infection and inflammation of the ears. For example, the dog has been scratching the ears every day and it has passed and is smelly for many weeks or many months. And uh, after treating by the, the groomer and the vets, there is no improvement. The dog keeps on scratching and uh, shaking his head day and night. So this uh, operation is called lateral ear canal resection. Now, normally I explain to clients how it is done through the website www.biobets.com. So, usually I will uh, put, uh, download this website www.biobets.com and then in the consultation room, I will click on dogs. Under dogs, then we will go to ear problems. Ear problems. So I click ear problems and uh, I will take one example of the many done. So I will click on this now is a lateral ear canal resection surgery for hairy ear miniature schnauzer, which is quite a common problem. Now so I click to the, the case of the schnauzer with hairy ears and the surgery done. Now many owners want to know how it's being done. So I have one case where I have uh, taken images and uh, to show how it's done. Now this, uh, the dog is anesthetized and put on side, on the side. Now this is the left ear being uh, operated. So the most important thing is, first of all, you must do the marking so that you know exactly how, under the back, how you cut. Otherwise, if you don't do the, the marking, then you might be cutting too long or too short. Now, normally we put a forceps in. This forcep will go down and normally that is the, the, the limit, the lower limit of the forceps. So this is the lower limit, I mark X. So this is where the extent of the depth of the vertical canal. This is the vertical canal. So with this marker done, then we'll go to the next stage. Next stage will be wait, let me see. This is the next stage. Now the next stage we use electrosurgery, which which is electricity, to cut off the side wall or the skin first. The skin of the vertical canal. The X is here, so the, the cutting will be uh, longer than the, the, the area where the horizontal canal opens, that's where the X is. So it's considered is if this distance is, is uh, called X, this will be X upon 2. Okay, I will show you the next, next slide. Now, after cutting, this skin which actually covers the lateral wall or the side wall of the vertical canal is lifted, lifted up lifted up so that uh, you expose the cartilage and muscle and fat area of the lateral wall of the vertical canal that's why it's called lateral ear canal resection lateral means side uh, this vertical canal the side is called lateral okay so so you lift up this flap and the vet should be able to feel the the side wall with his fingers, you can feel it. So the next stage will be to to locate the opening, the opening of the horizontal canal. Now the opening of the horizontal canal is where just now the forceps went in at the end. So this opening is is a is a mark for you, a landmark. So that when you clamp the other two forceps, one is here and one is here 
when it's here, so so that you can have your markings. So so now we go to the next slide. Now next time we show where I use an electro electricity to, zzz, to cut 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 here the the posterior side. That means the, the back area of the canal, and after that the front the front area. The next the next slide will show uh, that's how how you can see that uh, horizontal canal is shown. The cartilage has been cut. The brigands have been cut there, and uh, this is the one. It's cut and pulled downwards. Then this is the one just now. The electrode was it was used to cut it using electricity so that there's less bleeding, and this one has is a uh, pull downwards, so you can see this is opening of the vertebral canal. The lateral wall has been removed. That's why it's called lateral ear canal resection. Lateral wall has been removed, and uh, this is the middle side, the, in, the inside, and uh, we pull it down. Now. When you pull it down, this cartilage is too long, so we need to cut half of it away. Half of it is about uh, leaving behind one centimeter, one to one point five centimeter behind. So anything more than that, we just cut it off, as it's not required, not needed. So the next stage will be this. After you cut off the lateral cartilage to one cm to one point five cm. Then we you can see that there is an opening here. There is the opening of the horizontal canal. Now this vertical canal, as you can see, has been opened up. The horizontal canal you can't see because it's inside like this. So this one is the opening of the horizontal canal, just like the human ears. Human ears also have horizontal canal, but human ears, the vertical canal is not not covered by the cartilage. For human ears, it's exactly like what you see now. Is open for the human ear, and human ear you see a hole. That hole is opening of the horizontal canal in the human ear. So you can you can understand why the, the human ear doesn't have any problem. Whereas the, the dog ear, because of this vertical canal being a, a cylinder, a cylinder, so so uh, everything gets trapped inside to this the whole uh, water, and so the the. The area becomes ulcerated and smelly, and full of pus. That's the reason. So now we have already removed that vertical, uh, that rectangular window or wall. So you can see a hole. This hole is the opening of the horizontal canal. Then uh, the stitches are placed. One stitch here and one stitch here first on the horizontal canal, and the others are stitched up. Stitch here. And then the other front side stitch up, stitch, 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 stitch. And then this one is actually the remnant of the vertical canal wall. So this vertical canal wall we stitch to the side here to provide a drainage board. We stitch here, stitch here, stitch here. So any 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 uh, dirt or anything from the horizontal canal will drain here. So it's called drainage cartilage. Uh, and uh, this is operation is quite commonly done. And it's called Zeps operation. So the next one will be, uh, as you can see, this is 18 hours after surgery. Now this case, this nozzle has hairy ears. So all this hairs, hairy ears trap the water and dirt, and so it causes a lot of infection and inflammation. So now we we have removed the the side wall, the lateral wall of the vertical canal, as you can see. You can see the this 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 wall has been removed. So that's why it's called lateral ear resection. Lateral ear canal resection. And you can see the opening of the horizontal or the horizontal canal. So in this case now, no matter how much hair is growing on the inside wall, there's no, no problem for this for this nozzle because uh, there is a uh, drainage and ventilation now of the horizontal canal and uh, this nozzle will no more uh, being in pain or, or having smelly ears or pus or pus inside the ears and uh, it goes on to live a normal life, pain-free life.
So, for more information on this surgery at Topayo Vets, you may call the following numbers or email us at judy at topayovets.com.